So here I am. I'm up on the roof. I have the rope grab on the end of my lanyard attached to my dorsal D-ring. And I have the end of my lifeline with my fall arrest pack and an auto-locking dual action snap ring right on the very end. It's auto-locking. When it releases, it locks. Notice that as I push on this, it won't close. I have to actually push on this section and then on this section and then it opens up. When I let it go, it locks again. Auto locking, one, two, dual action in order to open it. This is required for all these types of devices for life safety at height. So here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actuate the dual active unlocking mechanism for the snap ring and I'm gonna hook it to my anchor point. I'm now hooked to my anchor point. A good solid engineered anchor point. Now, this anchor point I call an engineered anchor point because it's specifically designed for training here on the KCC solar training roof. Um, it will hold my weight and then some. Now, I don't want to jerk on this because if I do, it's going to deploy my shock pack, totally ruin the whole thing, and I'll have to go buy another one. Plus, it won't feel too good to fall on my face, even with the fall arrest device decelerating me toward the shingles. But this is how this thing works. If I fall, pop, 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 and it stops me wherever I am. This is why I want to make sure that I keep the slack out of my line because if I want to go downhill now, I have to grab this guy like this. Let me back up this way so you can see. Grab this guy like this and squeeze it, and then I hold it. And I come down. Notice I am keeping tension on my line so that when I get here, now what if I were to fall from here? If I were to fall from here, this thing might not even deploy. The top of my body would hit there. It would hold me pretty well and it might not even deploy the fall arrest. If I did fall over the edge, the fall arrest would go, I would drop another three and a half feet. But what if I've been going back and forth and back and forth, it's caught on something up there, and for some reason I had another four feet of rope between this point and that point, I could accidentally walk right off the edge and I'd fall four feet before my fall arrest device even deployed. And if it was longer slack than that, I could be in big trouble. So it's very important to keep the slack out of the rope when you're working. So when I go back up, I want to do the same thing. But now I don't have to squeeze. I can just push as I go, and I keep the slack out of my rope. Rope management is key. You're not going to be on the roof all by yourself. You're going to have several people on the roof. Each person has their own lifeline. Each person has their own anchor point. Each person has their own D-ring and fall arrest device. You want to make sure as you're working back and forth that you're not climbing over top of each other in a way that's going to end up with twisting your lines all up. Sometimes you do have to move back and forth. Make sure if this rope goes over that rope when you go back the other way, you undo whatever twist that was created and coordinate your back and forth movements so you don't end up creating a hazard on the roof with your rope. This again falls under the category of good rope management. Hopefully that's understandable, but we need to look at one more point up here in a little more detail. Our engineered anchor point. If you are installing a photovoltaic array on a roof, you are not going to see one of these things sticking up out of the ridge of the roof that you can anchor onto. What's a person to do? Let's look at that part next. Okay. So here's an alternative to the pre-installed engineered anchor point we have on the ridge of our training roof. This is a bracket. You can find a number of different sizes and configurations of these anchor brackets that are made for nailing right to the ridge of the roof. Now the key thing is, is you want to find a roof rafter going up and down. You're going to set this thing on the ridge of the roof directly above a rafter or some kind of structural material underneath. Then with 
long nails you are going to nail through the bracket, through the shingles, through the sheathing, and right down into the structural framing underneath the roof. This one has holes for four nails. Somehow this doesn't seem real sturdy to me, but you know, pulling out four nails from uh, you know a good southern pine roof rafter and also having to take it on an angle. Here's what you would do. This would be sitting up on the ridge of the roof. Your dual action locking snap ring would go in like this and you would be pulling in this direction against the roof. So I'm sure it's engineered to hold uh, and a lot of people use this. This is a very common style of anchor point but remember only one anchor point per person. So, and you may want to have multiple anchor points for yourself on the roof, so you may put a number of these along the ridge of the roof. Here's the only thing about these that I don't care for. One is, they just don't seem very sturdy to me. The other thing is, is now when I take these out, I run the risk of damaging shingles again, and I got four holes in the roof for each one of these that are up there. You're gonna have to fill those holes with caulk or roof cement somehow and make sure when you're taking it out you do not damage the uh, top of the shingles. So you're going to want to get some kind of a nail puller underneath of there. Use this to pry against rather than the roof shingles themselves and be gentle when you get this off the roof so that and then come back and effectively patch those holes in the shingles so that there's no leakage. So this is another option for anchorage right here. Very commonly used. Next.